Hi, in this video, I will continue to create uh, dimension uh, and uh, segment entry to our activity management uh, project. Uh, this video, I will create ledger dimension. Uh, ledger dimension is uh, main account plus default dimension. So we, we use it, this for uh, creating a, a combination of main accounts and default dimensions. For that, you need to use ledger dimension account extend data type. And I add this one to my uh, table right here. This is ledger dimension account and it will automatically add a relation to dimension attribute value combination. I select use default role names no uh, because we, uh, we added ledger dimension before. This was for default account. Now we are using ledger dimension, actual ledger, dim ledger dimension. And after that, uh, I drag and drop uh, this field to my form and it will automatically create a segment center control for us. This is our segment center control. And uh, in, in this segment center control properties, I choose these ones. Uh, the most important one is uh, control class. Uh, this is dimension uh, dynamic account controller. And I select uh, is default account for, false. I give a label. Also, I uh, choose the reference field. And now it's ready for use. You don't need to do anything. Our other uh, ledger dimensions controller class was ledger dimension default account controller. These are these two are different. Uh, be careful about that. And uh, let me show you the <coughs> page. This is our ledger dimension. When I uh, select, I only see main account lookup, default account lookup actually. But here is my ledger dimension. When I uh, click, I see the main account and default dimensions with, with them. When I select, it will create automatically a combination for us. And uh, I want to show you the, uh, the values of uh, these records. These uh, I connect to my uh, SQL and uh, I did some uh, select here. First, I uh, select our activity rates and activity rates, I uh, see the uh, ledger dimension and ledger uh, dimension account. I select these two uh, from a dimension attribute value combination table. When I see the display values, this was the our uh, default account display value. This was our ledger dimension. As you can see, uh, it's a combination of main account and default account actually. We have a view. This view uh, shows all the related uh, combination of uh, our ledger dimension. So when I select this uh, with ledger dimension, I see the values of business unit, main account, etc. I, ha I, I, have, I have three uh, different type and I also see all the values of these type, attributes and values, etc. When you need these details, you can use this uh, view too. So, uh, let me show you again. <laughs> Uh, default account and uh, default account and ledger dimension actually is the same. Sorry. Uh, same uh, table. It's all dimension attribute value combination table. But <coughs> let me fix this. Uh, but uh, the types are different. Uh, when you use for the uh, only default account, you have actually only main account. If you use for ledger dimension, you have uh, main account and default dimension combination uh, in this table. And okay, now let's see again. First of all, uh, you need to use <coughs> ledger dimension account extended data type for this type. 
and then you need to add a segment entry control and set up dim dimension dynamic account controller for control cross and it's it's uh, ready to use and i will continue to uh, create content about uh, these dimensions and these uh, con uh, these uh, uh, data relations and i hope it's helping happy dancing <coughs>